so I've had some people they ask me how do you feed all those snakes that you have and yeah that's a good question because it's a lot of money it's a lot of green a lot of green bags and I tell them I tell them I have rodents I have lots of rodents almost sounds like Donald Trump in a way but it's not supposed to be who do you think it is? Comment down below who you think I'm trying to do an impression of. Probably poorly. But anyway, I don't care. Uh, yeah, so rodents. That's how I feed my snakes. That's how everybody feeds their snakes. Uh, I do breed most of mine. Um, otherwise, it would cost me a lot of money. And we'll go over that momentarily. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to show you my rodent shed, and I'm going to tell you, I'm not too impressed with it myself, but hey, we all got to start somewhere, and when you got a lot of money like I do sunk into the, uh, them there ball pythons, and their setups, well, you can't always afford to have all the nice stuff for the rodents that they're going to destroy anyway. So let me show you. Here I have my little natural gas heater with heat shield that redirects it toward the center and then I have a fan up above that circulates it to the back which you might be able to hear in the background so these over here are filled with mice and ASF and these over here are filled with rats and then there's more to the back yep so anywho don't mind all the dirt and the cobwebs it is a room shit after all it's hard to keep all that under control, but we're going to go on inside to another room, and we're going to check out the rodent center in there, too. Okay. All right. So before we get to the other rodent room, I just want to give you a little breakdown here on uh, how I figure out my math for what it costs me to feed my beautiful little balls. Ball pythons, that is. Yeah. So anyway. Um... Let's see. So they go through about 50 pounds of food a day. I got a lot of rodents. A couple thousand or more. So 50 pounds a day uh, costs about 25 bucks for per 50 pounds. When you do the math on that, it comes out to $9,150 per year. Um, and then I have a cost of about $1,100 for the bedding. And on top of that, I have the natural gas, uh, water, and electricity that goes into it. So, it's quite a bit. Um, yeah. Ah, I'm in another room. You haven't seen this room yet, have you? I don't think you have. No, you haven't. I got a lot of collectibles in here. Oh, shit, I just broke something. I stepped on something. Anyway, um, yeah. Let's go on over to the rodent room. So here we are in the other rodent room. And uh, yeah, I got some critter cages behind me. I don't really use those too much unless I have a lot of uh, overflow in the racks. So let me show you the racks. Here are the racks. Got these from my buddy Matt. Thank you, Matt. I do love them. Obviously, I got them filled up. So anyway, I'm going to show you one of these here racks, what they're filled with. Oh, look at all them baby ASF. Hello, little babies. Oh, aren't they so cute? Try to get out of the, get the shadow off of them. But yeah, ASF, they are such cute little sons of bitches. I'll tell you what, they'll bite the hell out of you if you let them. So, so don't let them. <laughs> but, uh, anyway, um, yeah, so what I was saying a little bit ago about the, the monetary cost of keeping ball pythons and, and breeding your own rodents, that's not it. Um, you're going to have to spend hours upon hours upon hours every single week to keep them clean. Like I said, I spend like $1,100 a year just in bedding for the rodents. Um, and then on top of that, you're constantly going through and checking water nozzles, uh, whether or not they're leaking or they're clogged. Because if they're clogged, then the animals in the tubs don't get water, so they dehydrate and die. Or if they leak, the tubs flood, in which case they die. So, yeah, it's not fun. I hate it. And, uh, well, I don't hate doing it. Well, I do. I don't really like cleaning rodents. 
I wouldn't say I hate it so much, but uh, you know what I mean. Dang it. So so anyway, um, yeah, it's 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 a big sacrifice, and uh, Lord knows, you know, that I've sacrificed a lot. Uh, my family knows, my friends know, which is why I love you guys all the more. And uh, I always say that anytime you have a goal that you want to achieve, you have to be willing to make sacrifices. Unfortunately, this is that sacrifice. You know, I'm not able to go on vacations. I'm not able to see my, my friends and family as much. But hopefully they understand. Like I said, that's why I love them all the more. And uh, today I want to send you a challenge. I want you to tell somebody that you love them and that you appreciate them. And heck, give them a hug if you see them in person. And maybe even a kiss. Not on the lips, though. Unless it's your uh, significant other. In that case, yeah, then you can do that. But uh, anyway, in closing, as always, remember this. Every day is a battle. Yesterday's a victory. So make today tomorrow's victory. And you are loved. May the force be with you.